Welcome to the Chateau de Lalande, a 16th century chateau in the heart of France. Join us each day of Advent as we get this 19 bedroom home ready for Christmas. We'll be cooking, decorating and discovering Christmas traditions from all over the world. Welcome to Christmas at Lalande. Welcome to another day at Lalande where we are having a very, very exciting evening because as soon as we've had dinner in here, we're going to be wrapping presents with the new Lalande gift wrap that has just arrived. I'm never going to tire of dinners in this room. It's really cozy here. It's so snug. We are having pesto pasta, broccoli and miso salmon. So this is a great night. Bon appétit everyone. Likewise. <laughs> We're not having pesto pasta because there was no pesto. So oh, I had fine. to make like a gingery garlicky thing. Oh. We are having <laughs> We are <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we are having ginger garlic pasta, broccoli and miso salmon. Mm. Well I know it sounds so good. Cheers everybody. Cheers. 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 Looking forward to wrapping the gifts. <laughs> How cozy a sight is this? So we're all wrapping gifts, but we're not saying who they're for, no. so that at least there's some surprise on the day, and we're going to tell everyone else coming for Christmas not to watch. So if you are coming to Lalande for Christmas, switch it off now. Just just log out of YouTube or watch something else. Or keep watching, but mute it and go to a different tab so we still get the ad revenue. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a really good wrapping station. I've got the wrapping paper over there, I'll show you that in a moment. But here we've got gift bags in really nice pink and sparkly, glittery and gold. Little gift boxes. I have colour coded the ribbons. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that. We have gold, pinks, natural, white and red. Is the theme pink this year? I don't know what makes you think mm. that. It's a little, little pink. And you see? <laughs> I even got pink snacks for us. Wow. I thought there was a gift. No, no <laughs> pink snacks. Um, and actually, oh. this was not done on purpose at all. From this Jamie? From, yeah, from Jamie. So many of you will know Jamie from the vlogs in the past. Jamie, an absolutely legendary volunteer here, who is now working in London for a vegan chocolate making company. And when I saw him in London, he gave me this as a gift. But I told him, no, I'm going to wait until I'm back with everyone. Then I can show you all. Because it's so amazing. It comes with rabbit. this, and when you plant it, <clears throat> it grows. Plant this paper, and life will grow. What life? We just have no idea. A Wild chocolate flower. plant. Oh. <laughs> oh, that would have been better. Wildflower seed leaflet. Well, I like that. And let's see what flavours we have. Hazelnut truffle, ooh, dark cocoa orange, and mint fondant. So that... Great. is to keep us going courtesy of Jamie. And I'm actually all vegan. Yeah. We can also discuss some of the gifts that we've bought. Mine aren't for anyone around this table, so uh, I can talk about them. Mm -hmm. I think most of mine are not for anyone around this table. Okay, so But I feel like if those. you look at them, you might be able to guess. Mm. We've told everyone else not to watch. I will start off with this one. I'm really, really excited about this. Have you heard of Queen Mary's Doll's House? Oh. Yes. Yes, this beautiful doll's house that was made for Mary. And for example, in the library, every single book has a story in it. Okay. A tiny, tiny little books. And Vita Sackville West wrote one of those miniature books. And it's a story about the spirit who lives inside the doll's house. And it's never been published. She only wrote it for that. Wow. And finally, this year, it's been published for the first time. Obviously, it's a little bit bigger than it would be in the doll's house. <laughs> And it has these most beautiful illustrations, like people playing with the objects in the doll's house. That's I her. That's her living in the doll's house. And she has just so much fun. She goes from room to room, just relaxing, enjoying herself. The house was designed by the architect Sir Edwin Lutyens. And these are the actual bedrooms in the doll's house. And you can see how similar they are to the illustrations in this book. So I think... This is going to be a beautiful gift for somebody. I'm going to wrap this one first. <laughs> oh, I've forgotten something fairly major. The what? wrapping the paper. paper. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you all know on these 12, and that printed like this. We did this smaller version of it. I love that one. I know, mm. with the squirrel. Didn't Andy show you when she was here? Yes, I saw I saw the originals. And you really haven't seen it put together like it's this. It's wonderful to Steve see. Steve worked with Andy to oh, do right. it. Oh, right. 
So imagine the gift wrapped like this under mm -hmm. that tree. Mm -hmm. And then I also printed it in big uh, so that we can just center particular images mm -hmm. on some of the gifts. I think it's slightly too wow. big for my liking for the other one. So I like bold. I like the idea that you just have the chapel. Mm. Um, I might actually use that as the front of a gift. Mm. Yeah, it'll be good for bigger, for bigger yeah, pictures. Yeah. yeah. And then I did the same thing with my father's art. This is the same medieval print that we've used in previous years in different colours each year. This year we made it pink and we've got the smaller version. That's this one. I really love this. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, I would wrap everything in my father's heart. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. So that's a smaller version, and again, I did a hugely scaled up. Just, I think most people prefer the small, but I love the oversized ones. Yeah, that's amazing. So for this book, I think I'm going to do what I said and use the chapel like this in the center. I was going to do this one, but that just means cutting out the middle of the paper because it's the only chapel that there is. I'm going to do it. I mean, there's enough there to do others. And I think I can do it that way, so this should be fine. Yes. Measure twice, cut once. Oh, watch out with the rug, by the way. I was actually just about to slice into the rug. In fact, that's, yep, that's a little bit of rug. Oh my God. There we go, I think the rug is unscathed. Our scissors weren't quite good enough for the task. That was, look, it's fine, it's mm -hmm. absolute, it's fine, it's, it's fine. I think this is my favorite bit of wrapping presents. In those bits, yes. A little bit retro. It looks nice. Never grows old. I like this as well. I think this was in a pack just from Ikea, but it's this iridescent whitish pink. It's so pretty. I'm quite pleased with this, but I feel I need a little bit more embellishment, maybe some tiny pink baubles in it. Ooh. I love these, so pretty. Okay, baubles are the way forward. Well, I think that's one gift done. The first gift is going under the tree. Poor little lonely gift. We need more to join it. What are you wrapping, Sabrina? Uh, a coat that we found in Emos. Ooh, oh. shall I flash back to that moment then? <gasps> and the red one. This one's amazing, yeah. I love it. And it's got, again, like it's, I love the corduroy. And it's got a belt. Whenever it's got the matching belt, I'm like, I'm down. <laughs> it's a winner. Yeah, no, I think this one is, is my favorite. Yeah, it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. I and wonder I who just... the lucky recipient is going to be. Mm. Mm. Can I say? No. <laughs> This is making me really happy, Sabina, because it means that there was still a usable piece either side of the chapel yes. that I cut out. Like, yes. Nothing is being wasted here. Yes. Which one are you going for? I have no idea. I feel that's the biggest artistic decision is the ribbon. Yes. Um, I'm thinking, where is it? Uh, this one? Yes. It might, it might be for the best. Um, I should go with this? No, whichever you want. In the end, you didn't go for either of those no, ribbons. No, because Maria said, this is a big gift and big the, the picture is big. Yes. So, you know, go big or go home. So, <laughs> I love it. it. Yes. It looks great. So, Maria, you were the only person organized enough yes. to have pre wrapped your gift. <laughs> Indeed. And I'm very pleased because now you don't know who's our. Who's. No, we have no idea what you've been wrapping. Yes. And I love the fact that even though you did them before, you're recolor coordinating them by adding pink to yes. them. Yes. Well, I thought, you know, I have to match somehow. <laughs> Hang on, have you already done. What? All of that? I know. You're on your fourth. I am on my fourth. On my last for now. Here, have chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know which the best chocolate is. I will <laughs> Okay, I'm quite pleased with this gift because what do you buy the person who has everything? Fancy toothpaste. <laughs> Obviously. I know this brand and it's really? very, very fancy. It's really nice yeah. and it's, it's called Bully. It's a, a Parisian brand and I went to the shop when I was last in Paris and I sort of fell in love with this opiate dentaire, which is just toothpaste. I do hope you didn't buy that for Natty. Oh, uh, no. No snakes for Natty. <laughs> don't worry. Because look, look how pretty that is. And separately they sell these little caps. So you can take this cap off Put that one on and it stands upright at the sink. It looks like a little 
It's like tap a little tap, thing. yeah, like an old fashioned tap. Yeah. Oh, that's and really cool. Actually. Let's see what it's made with thermal spring water, of course, because I mean, all your toothpaste should be orange, ginger, and clove, which is also very Christmassy. So, this is my next gift fancy toothpaste. It might be quite funny to wrap the toothpaste in rather a big, grand gift bag. So I'm going to pad out the gift bag with lots of tissue paper. And we have this beautiful tissue paper that was sent as a gift in Caddo. It's a lovely twirl, so I'm gonna use this and just fill the gift box. I have put two sheets of tissue paper, actually a little bit goes a long way. Then I'm going to nestle this in there and cover it with a final sheet. Oh, that's beautiful. Right? Yeah. So was this another Imaus find when you all went? It was. Can I flash back to that moment? Yes, you can. Okay, here we go. It reminds me a little bit of like a 60s dress. Yeah. It's quite beautiful. Yeah, I like this one a lot. It's, it's quite elegant. Wow, it's really, really nice. I so love it. is this the shoe box for it? Yes. What uh, wrapping paper are you going for? I think my favorite is going to be like the Tiny twirl. Tiny twirl. Tiny twirl. New word for it. Tiny twirl. The sellotape wars have broken out at Leland. Mm -hmm. I had put these perfect little pieces of cut sellotape around my glass and Philip has just stolen them. You mean the sellotape that I bought when I was still living in the Netherlands? You may have bought the sellotape, but did you individually cut the sellotape into perfect parcel size pieces? That was your fee. Oh, was it? Ah, oh, well, that wasn't discussed beforehand. That seemed obvious. <laughs> Well, anyway, whilst you were doing that, I've been finishing my gift. All right. My gift number two is done. And this one's got a little bell on it. I mean, it's quite grand for toothpaste, but I think that this particular toothpaste deserves no less. Does it? <laughs> yes, Philip, yes. We've just had a little pause in gift wrapping because obviously it's quite intense. Uh, to have, what, what exactly is this? This is very exciting. This is sort of like a sgrappino, which is like an Italian digestive. You, you can do it with grappa or in our case vodka. Yes. And we put some apple sorbet in. Apple sorbet and vodka? Yeah. Oh, I love you, Maria. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. How is it, everyone? That's good. Oh, that is good. I prefer it with lemon sorbet, but... This one works too. Oh, this is excellent. It could have been slightly stronger. Oh, you wanted a little more vodka, did you? <laughs> <laughs> the gift wrapping's really getting oh, to you. I can add some more if you like. No. Come on, the sticky I, tape I will be it, all awry. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad to see someone is going for the red pink combo. Red? It's bold, but someone That's not red. That's burgundy. Purple. That's not purple. That's it's like burgundy. burgundy. It's not purple. Look, it's not purple, but it's like a burg violety. Violet. Violet. Violet Good burgundy. grief! He's gone mad. Oh my God. In the, in the, it's not burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who bought it. It's, I think it was under the purple section, actually. Oh, there's no way that that is He's purple. just making up the purple section bit. Oh, actually, this, I think you'll find it was under the purple section. In some liquor, <laughs> yes. Maria, this is so beautiful. I'm so happy Thank to you. see Daddy's Yeah, it looks well. amazing. I'm trying not to cover it with the ribbon, so I've gone for just below. So this is something that's being kept secret. Yes, we can't um, reveal what okay. this is or for whom it is. I wonder if it's for someone in the room. Mm. Hmm. And there's one over here that Philip's working on that is also being kept secret with the same paper. Mm -hmm. It's a secret paper. It's a secret paper, exactly. Yes. It needs to be kept under wraps. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> you stole that from me. No, no, no. And you, you know said it. that's a wrap. That's what you said. Okay, fair enough. Mine was different. <laughs> I think I just want to sit and read this book instead of wrapping it. It is so, so beautiful. Charlotte Moss entertains. I mean, just the inside page. I could just look at that for hours. And there's a bit I just saw now that was extremely inspirational. I think it's really near the back. Look. Just the organization of the tablecloth and the little labels say whether it's rectangular or round and how many inches. So yes, this book, I might have just glanced through before wrapping. Isn't that beautiful? So that's why I like the large scale ones because it feels almost like a painting that you're handing to somebody. And then I want to carry on the medieval theme. So I'm also going to go for the uh, deeply purple ribbon that we've learned is purple. It's a lovely shade. It's a lovely shade of whatever it is, which is not purple. Uh, so I'm going to put this on. I'm quite pleased with this one. Because it was a medieval print, I decided to go a little more rustic. So I went with some raffia 
and a little brown tag and of course a medieval bell to give it a jestery sort of feel. So that one is ready under the tree and I've only got one more to wrap. Oh wow, Philip, I love yours. Thank you. That is really beautiful. Nice. It's not finished, but... You put one ribbon over another. Yes. That is so pretty. Thank you. Thank you, outside area. the box. Yeah, to them. I decided to add some Victorian angels to mine. Just to Lovely. Just fit in with the theme of the, of the gift and the recipient. Little mm. dippleperge angels, I love them. Excuse me, I'm just walking my pig. Uh. Just uh, go for a little stroll. Don't mind the pig. He's very friendly. How cute is this? This is one of the better gifts, I think. A classic <laughs> Imo you spine. If this is the better gift, <laughs> I, I do not want to know what the okay. worst gift is. Come on, I, this, nothing tops this. I don't quite know how to wrap him. I might just put him poking out of one of the gift bags. <laughs> I think that's quite funny. I do. Well, if the pig fits, I think this must be the gift bag. So I'm going to put tissue paper. Job done. I am so happy we have this tissue paper this year because last year I actually had tissue paper made in the same wrapping, but this year Zazzle had run out of tissue paper. <laughs> so I couldn't get any made. We were so lucky. This is very, very pretty. Oops, there we go. I think someone's going to be bewildered to be having this on Christmas. Voila. Right now it looks like a shovel. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Um, it's a doorstop, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's, it's a doorstop. <laughs> this is the final gift of the night being wrapped. Yes, I've got more. <laughs> more coming in, but for now, this is the final bit. I'm pretty excited. Do. And this is the glasses that you got for Michael. Yes. Okay, Shh. I'll go back and look at that bit of footage. <laughs> okay. Can I just pull up one of my gifts, Michael Potts, for Christmas? I like it, Philip. I really like the set. Right? It's great. So that's going to be for his apartment? Yes. I think he'll love it. All for his house and M7 is also very... Much, yeah, but lots uh, of blacks. Um, yeah, monochrome. 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 Yeah, yeah. He has a lot of uh, black and white in his dinner services. That's what I thought. They're cool. Like them. All right. Oh, it's martini glasses as well. Should I get the martini glasses? Well, actually, I got him some martini glasses with black stems, wow. I think, a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. But you could get the others in case you have a party, because I think I just got two. Oh, right. It's amazing how many they are. I mean, it's filling both of those. I know, I know. They're really nice. It's beautiful. I like the shape of the actual glass itself. It's very retro. Yeah, it is, but I like it. I hope he likes it too. Oh, actually, I'm sure he'll love it. I showed Ruth when yeah. she was here, and she... We really love them too. So she, she thinks she'll she, like it. Yeah. I know it's ridiculous. I think the less said about this particular gift wrapping, the better. But the pig is happy and that is the main thing. It looks like it's wearing a wig. It's a little wig. A little multicolored Christmas wig. Hey, just yours to go. This is the last one going oh. into place. I cannot believe how beautiful all of this looks. I love the wrapping paper. I'm so happy. Which one's your favourite? Oh, that's really hard. How can you choose out of all of these? I love the big twirl. I think it looks great on that book. And then, of course, yeah, I'm always super drawn to daddies. Do you have a favourite? It's either that one in the middle. This one. This is beautiful. It looks really good with a candy cane in front uh, of it. Oh, I should have put a candy cane through it. Yeah. I also really like your chapel one. We have a not-so-secret Santa every year here, where each person has two other people to buy for. You can't spend more than 20 euros, and then if you want to buy for other people and spend whatever you want, you can as well. But that's the rules for the not-so-secret Santa, and it's not secret because we always sign who it's from. So there will be a lot more gathering under this tree as we get closer and closer to Christmas. What a beautiful start. If you want to recreate this at home, you can download the prints that we've been using today. Andy's prints, my father's painting. They're five euros each on our shop, which is store.chateaudelalande.com. Now, crucially, you do not receive wrapping paper. This is just a digital download, and then you can take that and have it printed in whichever way you want. As you see, we've played with it. We've done different scales and we've had a lot of fun with that. You can get them professionally printed online as we did for the wrapping paper, or you can use them in many ways at home as Andy did. She printed these out at home and these, which are incredibly cute. Do let us know what crafts and ideas you come up with for them, and we might still have time to institute them here at La Lande. Well, from a very happy, crowded Christmas tree, 
lots and lots of love from Leland and Merry Advent. Mm -hmm.